Hello! Well, hello there, boys and girls. Motherfuzzer here, and today I'm bringing you some more Halo Reach. Ah, oh, we are going to be showing our appreciation for Halo in today's video, and I thought I'd bring you guys a little bit uh, more long-form content, a longer video today. This is like a ten and a half, no, eleven and a half minute Halo commentary today. So there you go. Everybody's been asking for longer videos. People want longer form content, like 20 minute commentaries, stuff like that. I don't really have time to do a 20 minute commentary. I would run out of things to talk about. But today we're going to talk for like 11 and a half minutes and freaking watch some awesome Halo gameplay at the same time. So this is some big team battle. Um, it's titled Update Big Team Battle Slayer, if you want to be specific. Uh, I got snipes off the freaking spawn as you can see and we get a bunch of different host migrations throughout this game uh, I edited out a couple of them but I guess I missed this one here at the beginning so what can you do Halo Halo Reach has lots of host migration problems I wouldn't even call it a problem because this was the first game that they put the feature in but the fact that they did that uh, w when people leave the game or when the host leaves the game and has to switch hosts a lot of times it'll do it like five or six times in one game and that just gets annoying because you have to sit there and you have to freaking wait for the stupid menu to go away like over and over and over and I don't know if you guys are as impatient as I am but even when I get host migrations in Call of Duty I'm like come on stop wasting my time with your bullshit well would you look at that I actually sniped someone in Halo hot diggity damn I can actually get headshots in this game. Whoop de friggin' do. Oh! Oh! Hit marker. No scope hit marker for the assist and the plus six credits. Because you have to have credits in Halo. Uh, it's like Halo's version of COD points. And I don't know if they're bringing back uh, this specific credit system in Halo 4. I kind of hope that they don't because it was kind of weird. The only thing that people even used credits for in this game was to buy the different armor effects. And don't get me wrong, the armor effects in this game are cool. They are pretty damn cool. I've got the birthday bash, which is where your head explodes into a little explosion of confetti and you hear little children go, yay, whenever you get headshotted and your head explodes in the confetti. It's kind of weird, I know, but it's something cool that they added to Halo. I just wish they would have had more, because I think there's only four total armor effects that they even put in this game um, so you have the birthday bash one and then you have this other one where these little hearts fly out of your dead body or little hearts with wings I don't know why uh, kinda weird like I said um, and then the next two are like a million credits and two million credits which is just a lot of credits if you guys don't play very much Halo uh, that's a lot of credits that's like days and days and days worth of credits um, and those are pestilence, which is like basically supposed to be farting or a distinct lack of showering. Uh, so you just have like this green aura around you and you smell. I don't know. I don't know how it's supposed to smell through Halo, but that's the whole point. So you're supposed to be like this flatulent, gross scumbag who just plays Halo all day. And that's all you do. And then uh, the highest level armor effect you can get is this thunder one I don't know the name off the top of my head but it is probably the coolest looking one out of all of them you get this badass like thunderstorm look going on over your helmet and I think there's actually there's another armor effect that I'm missing I've seen people with like this crazy flaming skull but I think that's only if you bought the legendary version of Halo Reach when it came out and that was like hundred and fifty dollars so I did not get that because when this game came out I was broke I had no YouTube money. I had no money of any kind. I was in the middle of my college dorm life. I was finishing up my first year of uh, college living in the dorms and I did not have the money to get Legendary Edition Halo Reach. But it worked out in the end and I gotta tell you guys when I first started playing this game I remember when the Halo Reach beta came out on the Xbox Marketplace and I downloaded it right when it came out and I think this was back in like the Modern Warfare 2 days. Um, or the Black Ops days, I don't really remember. Something like that. And the Halo Reach beta just came out, and right when it came out, I was just playing it all day, every day, and I kind of fell in love with Halo again, because when Halo 3 came out, that was when I first got into Call of Duty, like really, really into Call of Duty. COD 4 and World at War. That was when Halo 3 was out, and I didn't really play too much Halo 3. I would play it when I would go over to 
friends' houses who had Halo. Like, a, a lot of my high school friends were big, big Halo players, and they even followed uh, MLG, which is kind of funny and interesting now that I've actually I've been to an MLG event, and I'm actually friends with lots of MLG pros now, which is just weird to look back in retrospect and realize that, like, a lot of the Halo players that my old high school friends were fans of, I am now friends with in real life because of gaming, which is just crazy. It's like a small world moment. But anyways, my history with Halo started on Halo 1. I got Halo 1 right when it came out. Uh, I think it was just called Combat Evolved because they didn't even know if they were going to make a Halo 2 at that point. Um, but they dropped Halo 1 on the original Xbox. I got it right when it came out and I was really sucked into that game. I beat the campaign and then I beat it on all the difficulties all the way up to Legendary. And then I would play split screen a whole lot because we had four Xbox controllers. Uh, and this big screen TV at my grandpa's house and I would play with my cousin and my family and my friends and my brother and we would just play lots and lots and lots of split screen Halo on a big screen TV and it was just awesome because that was the first time that I really got into like uh, Halo-esque weapons like power weapons like rockets sniper I had played GoldenEye 007 and stuff like that before that like Doom things like that where you have shotguns and rockets but nothing where you could really play against your friends split screen like this and and jump around and just have like play you could play different custom game types on Halo 1 and Halo 2 where everyone had rockets or everyone had snipers you could do shoddy snipes or BR snipes and we got really good at it and we had a lot of fun on it and that kind of uh, fizzled out when Halo 3 came out and then once Halo Reach rolled around I kinda re fell in love with this game and even now to this day now that now that it's freaking 2012 and Halo 4 is right around the corner I still have a distinct love for Halo Reach uh, a lot of people don't like Reach they had complaints different complaints from the Halo community uh, about different things, but not me, man. I freaking love this game. I love all the power weapons. I love almost all the playlists. I can play it all day. I can snipe. I can jump around. I can play different uh, button layouts. Like sometimes I'll play recon. Other times I'll play bumper jumper if I'm feeling a little BJ. Everybody feels a little BJ every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, but uh, yeah, now that I've been back to Halo, I've been noticing that I can improve at this game a lot. I have a lot more room for improvement on Halo than I do on something like Call of Duty where I've played it for so long. I know everything about it. I know the stats of all the weapons. I know all the choke points and the lines of sight and the different spawn traps on all the maps. Nothing really surprises me on Call of Duty anymore. Whereas Halo, I'm not a very good sniper. I'm not good with uh, timing power weapon spawns. I'm not good at team shotting and playing with a team because you never really even have to do that in Call of Duty. Call of Duty is a very lone wolf friendly game. Um, and Halo is just different in a lot of different ways. And when I, when I do get like over kills and multi kills and double kills and triple kills and killing sprees and killing frenzies and sword spree, sniper spree, all the crazy medals you can get in Halo, I just love getting them. And it makes me want to play Halo all day. Like, I actually enjoy myself if I just sit on Halo all day. I cannot say the same thing about something like Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops, even the old COD games now because they're not really playable like they used to be. COD 4, World at War, and Modern Warfare 2, uh, they're all filled with their different own problems like hacked lobbies and, you know, uh, Modern Warfare 2 just in general sucks ass because of new tubers and snipers and trick shotters. And none of the Call of Duties are really that playable to me right now, so I'm kind of just on the edge and waiting for Black Ops 2 to come out. But Halo Reach, I've been getting lots of gameplays and it's just been sucking me in. So I have like over 10 Halo gameplays to do a bunch of different commentaries on for you guys. And I'm just kind of enjoying my summer and riding things out. I'm playing lots of games, but I'm not playing nearly as much games as I will be when this next cycle comes through. Uh, talking about like the holiday season, October, November, December, Resident Evil 6, Black Ops 2, Halo 4, Grand Theft Auto 5. There's going to be so much unhealthy amounts of gaming, I am not even ready. Um, but this summer I'm just playing, you know, like a decent amount of games. I'd say a few hours every day. Uh, and Halo is one of those games that I just absolutely love. So I thought I'd throw together a commentary today just to tell you how much I love Halo and I feel like we've uh, talked about a lot already. Is there anything else I can say about this game? 
Um, I have seen lots of Halo 4 gameplay, and I am going to be doing some more Halo 4 related videos here soon, probably over the top of some Reach gameplay. And I'm going to get some Halo pros to come on my channel and do dual commentaries and collaborations and stuff like that with me to talk about Halo 4 and to talk about our plans for Halo 4, because I'm going to be rolling with some really, really talented people when Halo 4 comes out, and we should be able to bring you guys lots of awesome gameplay possibly do a Halo 4 montage when it comes out. I would love to do that. We're going to have to see though where my skill level is at. Um, right now I can put together like a decent amount of multi-kills, but I'm not nearly at the, the sniper quickness level that I want it to be. I just got to keep training my thumbs and not bounce between Halo and Call of Duty because that's just bad for you as a gamer. You got to kind of keep some consistency game to game. But if you guys uh, want to see more Halo gameplay, Buckle up and get ready and keep an eye on your sub box because I have at least 10 more Halo gameplays stocked up for you guys. Um, but that was a 17 kills, 3 deaths, big team battle gameplay and a nice little 10 minute commentary to go with it. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the vast amounts of different videos that I'm posting lately. Everything from Call of Duty to League to Minecraft. I'm trying to bring you guys as much of a variety as possible and I hope my hard work is shining through and I hope you guys do appreciate as much work as I'm putting into this lately because it's been taking up all my time. Um, but if you do, leave a like on the video. If you want to hit me up on Twitter, I would love it if you follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter all the time. I'm an addict. And uh, Facebook too. I have a Facebook fan page that's almost to like 45,000 likes. So go like that. It's all down below in the description. This has been Muzza. I will see you later.